my name is Jarvi the Mouse and welcome back to another video. For those who don't know me, I do speedy art on Photoshop from landscapes to transform Minecraft builds into real life builds. In this video, I use Nvidia Gaugen to create a landscape from scratch. If you want to download these and other arts of the channel, take a look at the link in the description. If you are new here, consider subscribing. Let's go to the speedy art and now we will explain better how this AI works. Nvidia Gaugan is in a beta stage of development and is an artificial intelligence that works in the browser itself. As well as Google's Chimera, which I made a video on the channel comparing my art with the one made by Google's AI. Click on the card to see the video if you haven't already. But anyway, as you can see, Nvidia Gaugan works in a very similar way to Chimera in terms of how the AI interprets the drawing you did to create the image. Unlike Chimera, Nvidia Gaugan aims to create scenarios or landscapes. As you can see on the left, there is a selection menu where I can choose which element I want to add to my landscape. What I found very interesting in this AI is that at the bottom there are some effects that, when applied, transform the final image drastically, as you will see later. As soon as I learn more or less how the AI works, I start trying to design something. As you can see, I had a lot of difficulty at first. The fact that there is no marker that actually shows the brush size, just like it does in Photoshop, makes it very difficult to make precise strokes. The fact that this art is organic, that is, something that does not demand much precision, such as human face or a construction, it doesn't bother me too much. Some things end up not working as I thought you would. I can't say for sure, but I imagine that is because of the way that the AI interprets every detail you put. Finally, I download the image and put in Photoshop to then start detailing the landscape a little more. One thing that I realized is that the quality of the generated image is not very high in relation to the resolution. So unfortunately, the final artwork will hardly be able to be used as a wallpaper. Well, enjoy the rest of the speed art. I hope you like it.
is the end result. As I mentioned that the image resolution is not very good, but I still like the result. I had a hard time fitting the new image to the image generated by the AI. In the end, I was satisfied with the result. I found the way that the AI works quite interesting and I was really surprised by the results that is possible to obtain with it. For those who want to use it, the link is in the description. And this is today's video. This art ended up being a little simpler than the other arts of the channel, but I found it very interesting and I hope it interested you too. Finally, if you want to download these and other arts of the channel, take a look at the links on the description. Thank you very much for watching, my name is John the Mouse and I see you soon. Thank you.